Hi, how are you today? I have a great recipe. Lighter blueberry cornmeal muffins. Lighter than what you say? Lighter than your average muffin. You are gonna love these muffins. You are gonna make them every single week. First thing you wanna do, line your muffin tins with muffin tin liners. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then you are halfway done. <laughs> Almost halfway done, it's actually super easy. You need to mix together some dry ingredients in a nice big bowl. One cup of fine cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour. Should I be the humming chef today? Ah, I love baking. Do you like baking? It's actually really fun. One third cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of fine salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Don't forget the baking powder. Whisk all that together. Now you're really almost halfway done. You need to whisk together some wet ingredients too, which I magically have awaiting me underneath the counter. Ta-da! One cup of low-fat yogurt. Uh, you're replacing milk with low-fat yogurt. And then just three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. That's not that much. A lot of muffin recipes have like a half a cup of oil in them. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, the pure stuff, of course. And then two teaspoons of orange zest. Don't throw the orange away while the muffins are baking. You're gonna need the orange juice for the glaze. Interestingly, there is no egg in this recipe and believe it or not, it's not even necessary. Just stir those in the wet ingredients together until they're nicely combined. One and a quarter cups of blueberries and these need to be tossed with a tablespoon of flour. That helps keep them suspended in the batter while they're baking, or at least that's what they tell me. Here's what you do. You take your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients and you stir them together. Gently, J don't overmix. If you overmix muffin muffin batter, it'll get tough. Right before they're completely combined, you can add your blueberries and then continue stirring until everything comes together. It is kind of a dry-ish mixture, but don't worry. They're gonna be delicious. It's a thicker batter than most muffin batters. And here's an ice cream scoop that I'm gonna scoop my muffins with. Use nice even scoops to scoop it into your lined muffin tin. You wanna make sure that they're nice and even because this is a very, very thick batter. It's actually closer to a scone batter texture than a muffin batter texture, if you ask me. Look at that. Everything perfectly evenly split, just the way that I like it. These go in a 400 degree oven. They should take about 30 minutes to bake. Time has passed. These muffins baked for 30 minutes and then I let them completely cool so that I could glaze them. The glaze is super simple. It's a third of a cup of confectioner sugar. Messy, messy confectioner sugar. I never managed to get sugar out of that container without making a mess. And then two teaspoons of orange juice. I'm just gonna squeeze it with my hand, whisk it in. It's amazing how quickly and easily confectioner sugar turns into a glaze like that. It's magical. And then just spoon it over your cooled muffins for a delicious tangy glaze. We're done. Just let these guys set for a few minutes so you don't get too messy while you're eating them and then you can enjoy them. And I think you're gonna love them. They're so easy. You're gonna thank me. Thank you for the lightened up blueberry cornmeal muffins, Sarah. I love you. <laughs>